Hi, my name is Martijn Meima. Um, today I want to talk to you about intuition. But it's more than the gut feeling, so I call it pure intuition. Because, well, a lot of people say, yeah, I trust my gut feeling because that brings me where I want to be. But the problem with gut feeling is that it's all mixed up with emotions, with fear, with anger, with uh, longing that you really want something. And that's not a very pure and clear intuition. So what is clear and pure intuition? Intuition comes in six flavors. And you need to find out for yourself which flavors are your favorite and are closest to you. Mostly two, three. And the other ones you can develop, but well, I would start if you, if I were you, with just the flavors that are uh, well developed already. The first one is clear seeing. It's, you get visions, and um, so when you ask yourself, "Okay, what should I do?" or "What is going to happen?" or "What what is the good thing to do for my business?" Sometimes you get images, or you get, or sometimes I get whole videos. Um, and then you have clear vision. The second is instant knowledge. It's like, whew, you know it instantly. And you have to be careful to don't mix it up with thinking, because thinking happens here in your head, and clear instant knowledge also happens there. So, but it, it's different. It's uh, yeah, it's lighter. It's instantly. So you will, you, you can tell what the difference is. Then you also have the clear and pure feeling, because there's there's intuition that goes. That one of the tastes is is feeling. But then you need that. It, it's the same with the thinking and the knowledge. It's it's fresher. It's clearer. It's lighter, it's different from your emotions, but then you really need to find out what are emotions and when it's a clear feeling. Another one is smelling. You can smell things that are not here. Um, and that's intu intuitive information. And the same goes for tasting. You can taste things while you're not eating or you don't, the taste is nothing really in your mouth, but it's intuitive information. And then the last is hearing. You can also hear things without using your ears. It's like inner hearing, clear hearing. And then you get words or you get information, maybe a song. And it's all intuitive information. Yeah, and then, then you have this information, what to do with it? Because that's the, well, the problem or that's the, uh, what you need to do with uh, intuition is that you need to learn a new language. We all learn a language, English, or I also have learned Dutch, of course, in Holland. Um, but intuition has a different way of talking to you. It has a different way of expressing information or expressing uh, yeah, information to you. And that's also very personal. There's no universal intuitive language. So you need to pay attention to your intuition and you need to write it down or uh, looking back at, at, at moments that you saw, you, that you felt your intuition or you saw things or you heard things or tasted things, write them, write them down and then later you look back and say, okay, now I know, because it's always easier to look back and, and know what your intuition wanted to say. So use that, that it's easier to look back. Look back and then say, okay, this, this information meant that. And then you will find out that certain sensations or certain images or certain tastes are connected with certain um, certain information. For me, I get the shivers whenever things are really, we're getting to the core of something, that it's, that it's true. So for me, it's very easy. If I'm coaching somebody and I get the shivers, I know, okay, this is it. This is what we should talk about. This is when we hit the real thing. So I would like to invite you to Discover, experiment, find out how your intuition works and 
which taste of intu intuition is your favorite taste? And please let me know what information your intuition has given you.